Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. How are we all? Um, I am banging out some hauls these days. I mean, probably perfect because we are getting closer to freedom. Um, but yeah, I just thought why not do a Miss Pap one. You guys know me and Miss Pap were like, it's like a bromance. Um, I have bought from Miss Pap way before they even knew who I was and I've worked with Miss Pap and things like that. Like I really do love working with them because I actually wear and still buy um, the clothes. So it's like, it's, it's easy for me to kind of put outfits together because I actually would wear them. So that is why I like to work with Miss Pap. Um, so I just thought I would do a wee haul. It's like a mix of like, there's not really like anything you would wear about the house. Well, well, depends what you wear about the house. But it's like things you could wear like for brunch, lunch, beer garden, but casual. And then there's like two that I think you could dress them up. One, definitely dress up. One, you could dress up, dress down. So there's a wee variation there for us all. Um, whatever tickles your fancy. Now, before I start. We have two unwanted guests. I know you're thinking my dogs. They're never unwanted. The unwanted guests are Hoddit and Doddit. Hoddit. Doddit. On my face, can you see? Hoddit and Doddit. Doddit has now become a cut where even concealer doesn't go on it. It's rude. It's also very rude that they weren't invited, but <clears throat> we won't dwell on it. By the way, I put up a photo the other day on Instagram and it got taken down for nudity because I wrote the word nude in it. I was just wrote to send nudes, but didn't mean the actual send me nudes, you know what I mean? Came down. So also guys, there are some items from Miss Pap that are in the premium range. Um, so yeah, I will also show you them. Um, but yeah, this is kind of just how I would style it. If that's what you like to watch, then stay tuned. If you haven't, please like the video, please subscribe. And always, guys, if you're ever sharing anything, remember to tag me on Instagram. Um, and yeah, any questions about sizes, if you kind of want to message me privately to say, look, how tight was it, how big was it? Would I need a bigger size? Would I need a smaller size? Just message me privately on Instagram because I know asking about sizes and that can be quite a personal thing. Also, wild with the hair. I know I've recently have been doing the slick back rack and all that, but I've done like a high slick rack. Not as slick. This hair is really fucking me up, but definitely slick and like high bun. Do we like it? Am I going to regret this when I go to edit this video? And I see how ugly I look. So, first outfit, I'm a I've actually wore this. Now, I am beyond happy that Miss Pat are selling it again because I wore it to the beach last year with me and Lee. And obviously the dog bear it in the water, we didn't have cocoa at this point. And when we were sitting in the car, I had the outfit on and bear got me bogging and it was stained. I don't know if there was something in the water, oil or something, there was definitely something and it stained my dress and it went in the bin. And it was one of the most comfy, flattering dresses I'd wore. So I re-got it, which I was like, what a bonus. Um, oh, my next door neighbor's car's gone off. Can you just stop that? So I will pop up the photo just now of me wearing it last year. I just wore this with little socks and trainers to the beach. You could kind of wear this anywhere. You could wear it out for lunch, brunch, beer garden, cute walks, photo time, whatever you fancy. So this is it here. It's like a little white, um, like basically a t-shirt dress. If I got it, so I've got it back to front, sorry. <laughs> Some blogger I am. But it's got this detail here going down the front and then it ties at the bottom. If you don't have a waist, buy the dress because it will give you a waist. It's also nice because it kind of gives you this like, is it hourglass? shape because you can pull it so you can either make it like long i'd say it's just above your knee or you can make it quite mini and it kind of goes up like that when you're wearing it it's really really nice it's so flattering it does stuff to your legs it just makes you look like a model so get a bot um i have in this now styling it i guys have just styled this with a regular check shirt and socks and trainers this is how i would wear it 
Um, at my birthday, I said if it's a nice day going for brunch or going to wee walk with the dolls, grabbing a coffee. Even like me and the girls, like yeah, we've got like our kind of big nights out planned for when we get a lockdown, but we've also booked one day just going for lunch. Um, like no alcohol including it's really casual the place we're going and if it's really nice weather I would wear something like this and like a casual handbag and just really dress it down now you could by all means dress it up but I feel like because it's kind of t-shirty I would keep it casual however if you were going to dress it up a lovely blazer and a nice pair of heels would be stunning with this I also like if you take the check shirt off and wrap it around your waist. I think that is also a bit of a vibe. So yeah, this is definitely a winner for me. And like like I've showed you here in the photo in the video, it's like so comfy and casual. It's and I you guys know I don't like tight stuff. Like guys, I live in jumpers every haul I do, I'm wearing a jumper. Um it's what I'm comfortable in. So the fact that I did wear this, um, like it's not, it's not like a slinky material. I'm not a fan of the slinky material, if I'm honest. Um, it's like just more of like a kind of cotton, can you see? Kind of cotton material and I absolutely do love that. Now for sizing guys, I am in the process of obviously trying to shift a wee bit of lockdown weight. I got a size 12. The last one I had on though was a size 10 and it did fit me better. However, the reason why I went for the 12 is just right now I don't really feel super comfortable. Um, so I went a little size up just so I'm not pulling at things and, you know, whatever. If I get back down, I mean, I, I still am a size 10, but when things are a little bit tighter made, I do like to go a little bit of a size up. So, yes, in case you're looking for a size. And obviously I will link that below. Um, but I absolutely love it. It's also like a nice crisp white. It's not nude or cream or anything like that. It's a stunning white colour. Um, I absolutely love it and it's so affordable. Like it's so, so cheap. And I'm, I think it does come and I'm going to say it comes in like a blush pink. I could be wrong with that, but I am positive. Am I though? Do I want to bet my life on that? Unsure if I'd bet my life on it, but I think there's a blush pink. Don't quote me on that. But outfit one. Now, outfit to another easy throw on, don't really have a lot of think about and just get it on your body and you look cool, um, is this knitted, um, it's very like a kind of cream, co not coffee, it's not a coffee colour, it's just like a really nice biscuity colour and it has like this embroidery on the front here which kind of gives you the, oh I think it's that I think that dog that just walked by my house said there's a dog that attacked another dog. I think it was that one. I'm just trying to figure it out so I can keep my dogs away. Bear's really sick, guys. He had to go to the vet this morning. He's on antibiotics and oh, he's a wee soul. He's such a wee soul. Um, so yeah, this kind of gives you the illusion that you've got titties. You're going to thank me for that. Stunning. So this you could really style quite a few ways, if I'm honest. This would be stunning going out for dinner with the BF or the GF, whatever one you have. Or if you've not got any, oh, there the popo just drove by. A lot happened in the street today, but it's all kicking off. So yes, this would be stunning, right? Just envision me, right? Lee says, let's go for dinner. I'm like, oh, okay, babe. Last minute plans. Last minute plans can sometimes really ruin your night. Ruin, right? Imagine this, it's a throw on, you've got nothing to think about. Stunning gold tubes, nice gold chains, get your rings on, right? If you've not got tan on, get instant tan on. Now, depending when you're going, you could pair this with like one of those under the knee boots, handbag, blazer. What have I done? You're going even more casual. He says, let's go to Nando's, but it's a nice day. Put this on, and I ain't finished, or the bus with some Miss Pap sliders, right? You could put a blazer on, but if it's a nice day, let's not ruin it. Denim jacket. See where I'm going with this? Sunglasses and the hair is a hairband. It's a whole vibe. You've got to think of the outfit, right? Patch these. Don't want them. Okay, that's absolutely fine. This with nude heels, white heels, little crop blazer, because a crop blazer and a tight dress just gives you the illusion you get a wee waist big butt. What is that in a song? I don't think I can repeat the song, I think, is it's... I'm sure it's a song. Anyway, there is so many ways you can wear this. Even more casual, guys. Wear that, check shirt round the waist to kind of cinch it in. White socks, chunky trainers. 
um, you could put this on like a little wedge, sunglasses, a nice woven bag. There are so many ways you can style it. So I'm going to pop this up how I have styled it. I have just put this on with the Myth Pat um, little sliders that I was telling you about. Um, I absolutely love them. I have quite a few items like this in my wardrobe, like really just key items that I've worn so many times, but like they're just kind of like a throw on. Like I'll pop up a photo of like an example of what I mean. Like me and Lee weren't going out that day and then he was like, it was such a nice day and he was like, oh, I'm talking for a drink and dinner. And I was like, oh, same. And we just went out and I had nothing when I say I had nothing to wear, I had stuff to wear, baby. You know what I mean? I'm a girl here, I can say that. And I just flung on a tight dress, plain blazer, trainers, sunglasses, little cute bag. See that day, people asked me, oh, your outfit's so nice, so cute. And I was like, I Outfits like this are just good to have in your wardrobe for spring, for summer, because let's face it, guys, we've been locked in the house for a year. You're going to put yourself in an egg, uh, what is that called? An overdraft for the amount of nights that you get planned. Well, if you don't, then you're not going to get enough and let me know and I'll go out with you because these types of outfits are what you're needing in your life. And to be honest, I absolutely love it. It's also a super thick material. Can you see here? Um, it's not like paper thin or anything like that. It's definitely not see-through. Um, and I like it. The neckline of it's not too low. So girls, if you are a little bit bigger chested and you don't like really things being low and really revealing, then that one's not super low. And also girls, if you are a little bit like more flat chested, um, this illusion here that you have with the boob part would kind of give you the illusion that you get more of a best than maybe you actually have. But I love it. Stunning. Stunning. What size did I get? Again, I went a 12. I'm going to be honest guys, I think I got a 12 for everything. But if not, I will confirm. But I got a 12 in this. Um, again, if it's a little bit tighter, I do go a size up just so there's a wee bit of movement in it. Because I'm not here for my lumps and bumps to be on show. Okay, not what I want to see. So, next dress that we have is actually from the premium range. I got this in a size 12, right? Not my usual thing, but I thought I'm going to branch out. Now, the reason I got this was purely based on the fact that I spent a lot of money on a handbag I've not really used. The Prada one. Don't want to talk about it. But I am praying that when summer comes, it's going to be the bag. Oh my God, it is actually, because I've actually got quite a few. It's almost part of the same house, but I don't know how it is. But it is this dress here. Now, it's absolutely stunning. The material is super thick, so it's not see-through. And then you have this V-cutting, but it's got boning in it, girl, so you don't need to worry about the flap and it'll stay really secure. Now, if you have a little bit bigger boobs and you want it to be more secure, you could boob tape it. I don't have big boobs, so I don't have that problem. Now, it has zipping going down the back as well. If you're wondering, is it just a pull-on? It's not. It actually has a zip. Now, this ruching detail that you can see in the front and back, just naturally gives you like this curve to your body so your bum looks like you get these really chunky stunning butt cheeks you might not have but this dress will definitely give you it and then going down the front it gives you the illusion you're coming and then going out so it's really really flattering guys I really do like it you maybe could dress this down in summer with like a nice wee denim jacket socks and trainers if you were going maybe more beer garden but you can't be bored wearing heels you definitely definitely could I do think, no, let's keep it fancy, let's keep it premium, and let's keep it stunning. And I have just paired this with a pair of heels. Now, this would even be stunning in the summer with, like, a cropped nude, a cropped white blazer, if you are wanting to kind of cover up a little bit more. But I absolutely love it. And obviously, you can see in the photo and video that I've popped up that it's actually stunning. And it's not me, it's a dress. Um, so I absolutely love it. Now, is it a mini? Um, it's got, it's not, you can't like pull this bit down like you could in the white one, like that had a tie part. You can't do this in this one. But I don't really think that matters. It's meant to be a mini dress. Let's get the legs out, girls. Let's show the boys what they're missing. I absolutely love it. It's also like a kind of pastel blue colour. Um, and I mean the Prada bag. It's just, I mean, it was a dream, it was meant to happen. It was meant to, it was, Dream team, that's the word I'm looking for. It's a dream team. But yes, I absolutely love this one. I think it's beep stunning. I actually didn't realise how many dresses I picked, but I've obviously tried to, you know, think of like, the nice weather coming in because it is getting nicer. I'm absolutely starving, guys. Starving. 
So yes, I've actually picked quite a lot of dresses, unaware that I did that. Um, the next one, I was a bit like, hmm, do I like it, do I not like it? But I think I quite do. Now, what I like about this is, even though it's black, it's really light. It's not a thick material. It's kind of like a linen-y, um, oh, I don't know the name of it, but it's not super thick. So even though you're wearing black, obviously on a nice day, it does attract the sun. But it's not a heavy material, so you wouldn't be really sweaty in it. It has like a collar and then it's got like the pocket detail. But here it has like a gap of where like it's like a kind of crop illusion. Um, I absolutely love this. I actually just think this would just be super cool with like nice sandals with like a black. Like now the sandals you get that are like cream on top but black on the bottom. I think that would be stunning. I think it'd even be stunning just incorporating like a white and black trainer. Or even like see this in like a converse little casual bag. Shades on. Wow, I've just made a really stunning outfit in my head. So yeah, get yourself some black Converse high tops if you haven't already done so. I absolutely love it. Now what I would do is I would wear this with a black lace bralette underneath and kind of not button up so that you're not seeing it. Because obviously with the shirt being there, it's not wide open, but you're not seeing the, the bralette. But if you, maybe you bent over or you maybe the wind blew in a direction, you would maybe see a bit of stunning sexy lace, you know. Like there's so many ways you can wear that. I would really accessorise this because the dress is so plain. I always think if you're going super plain with the outfit, try and like zhush it up a bit with whatever you're wearing. So maybe loads of rings, big hoops. If you've got like multi piercings, fill them up. Um, chunky necklace. You could even wear like a really thick gold chunky one with this. Um, or just like multi chain, get like nice like dainty bracelets. Like things like, obviously not, I'm not saying go out and run it and buy a Fendi brace, I don't mean that, but like dainty like that or chunky, um, little cute handbag. Like there's so many ways you can make this plain simple dress like a really stunning outfit. Again, if you weren't wanting to do casual, put that on with a plain black heel just going for dinner. Somewhere that's not like super fancy, that you don't want to wear something super revealing or super kind of out there. But like I always do think a simple black mini dress can sometimes be enough. I sometimes think when you over overdo a dress or you over something's a bit blue on your face, it's a bit like ugh, could you have went a wee bit more simple? I do love black. I think it's a very flattering colour. Um, and like I said, I like the fact that it's kind of short sleeve. It is kind of bringing it to the summer and it does have the button detail going down the front. Size wise I got this in a 12 as well. I thought I did. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love it and it's super light like, material so it is perfect if you are kind of going to wear it out during the day and it's like a super nice day. So yes, I obviously pop up photos and videos there for you guys to see um, but I absolutely love it and I do really think just that little bit of a slit detail kind of makes you also look, if something's a little bit baggier on top but tight at the bottom, it makes you look a lot slimmer and things like that so I think it's really, really flattering and obviously black takes about £10 after you've done it so... For me, that's exactly what I'm looking for. I maybe should have done more black outfits than what I've done, but let's all hope for the best this year. So these shoes, obviously you had a little swatch, was it swatch or swatch, swatch them. I literally lived in this type of shoe last year. I noticed some people, they're like me, they would have mirror wings, but uh, trends come back, guys. I mean, I was talking to my mum and dad about panelling, right? Because I'm pa I were decorating the whole house and which I'll be showing you. Um, and mum was like, you want panelling? And I said, oh, and she was like, if I'd said to you to get panelling last year or the year before, you'd have been like to me, eh, that's so old fashioned. And I was like, no, I wouldn't have. I probably would have. And she was like, it's mental how that's all coming back. She went, I had that in my flat years ago, like when like years ago, she stopped it before I was even born. And I was like, it's mental that how things just come back. Like, remember disco pants? You wouldn't have been seen dead in disco pants a couple of years ago. Now everyone's wearing them. Like my mum said to me all the time, like cycle shorts and jumpers. Like if I asked you to wear that, you'd have been like, no, I want skinny jeans. Like it's mental how trends and all that just come back. Like I remember I had these last year. Mum was like, oh my God, mum. It annoys my mum because she's like, see if I asked you to wear that. And I'm like, well, Alison, you never. So, all right, you should have asked me then. But anyway, you never. But I got these from my Miss Pat. They are leather. They're a really stunning nude colour. Um, and guys, I mean, it's, they are the comfiest thing you will actually bless your feet with. So, get them bought. 
size wise i went for my size six which i am i'm also a five like i'm kind of in between i'm really a five and a half but i always go a six um and they are so 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 comfy guys now you can style them with so many things the fact that they're nude they're just a really good essential shoe to have in your wardrobe and they're not expensive either so it's like a good throw on shoe i even like like this with socks and joggers i know that's pure criminal i know i'm got people are going to come for me for that but i do it's what i like to wear them with but i seen this i actually seen someone wear it i don't know who it was and it's like this kind of crop knit jumper now in glasgow you don't really get hot hot weather you get nice weather but it's not roasting and sometimes you could be doing like a wee jacket or a wee jumper with your outfit so i actually think this would be stunning when it's a nice day but it's not super nice with like jeans and you can on the website i'm sure it's showing you off the shoulder which i think is really really stunning if you get nice tan on and like glow up the skin also i also think this would be really nice with like denim shorts socks and trainers where like you're kind of keeping a little bit of the heat in the body but you're getting the legs out at the same time so it's like if the if the, if the weather's not super nice what's this problem with my jumper but it's nice um so I like this sweet number. I also like the fact it's so simple, but so fresh and so clean looking. It's also, when I say thick, it's not overly thick, but it's not like a cheap um, knitting material. It is really, really good quality. Um, and I like the fact that you can either zip it up and kind of keep it conservative, or if you want to, you know, hold up a little bit and get your little shoulder out, then you can do so. So yeah, there is actually so many ways you can style this. I have actually just styled this with jeans and then paired it with my Miss Pap sandals. Again, a perfect outfit for breakfast, brunch, lunch. Um, can I just go out and do whatever you need to do? Because obviously, like, going to the shops on that, that's all going to happen again when lockdown, like, goes down a bit. So you want to look cute while you're doing so. So this outfit, again, it's a really simple one, but it's one that you can wear so many ways. Even this with, like, a nice, like, kind of floaty, florally print skirt socks and trainers in the spring i would definitely keep it off the shoulder i think it's really really nice but no joke there's literally so many ways you can wear this one jumper so yeah it's definitely a winner for me and that's kind of what i like about miss pap and like it's what i like to do as well is whenever i'm buying anything i want to make sure i can multi wear it because at the end of the day girls see all this wear one outfit and never wear it again pish that we used to all do nobody's got time for that and nobody's got the money for that i certainly don't so Whenever I'm buying things and I'm looking at outfits, I'm like, could I wear you with that? Could I pop that on with that? Am I going to get my use out of it? Because if you're spending your, your money that you've worked hard for, I don't even care if a top state pound. At the end of the day, that's like, what, two or three hours sometimes of people's early date. You want to make sure that you're getting your money's worth. Well, I do anyway. Um, so yeah, this jumper, you can literally wear it so many ways. And for me, it's a wee stunner. And it's so soft. Like, I, you could actually wrap yourself up in that and go to sleep, so really really nice and look it just looks do you know i think it just looks fresh like imagine new tan on get your nails done get your hair done and wearing fresh cream it's like it's stunning stunning can you hear my belly rumbling it's really loud can you hear that no that is what it is what are we thinking about the hair do we like it do we not like it is it ugly do i look stunning no this um spot my chin's pulsing can only mean one thing it's really sore do i keep touching it um yeah next outfit so this one if you think i was done with them let's all have a moment let's all have a round of applause for these absolute outfits. i am obsessed with denim i always have been i'm a very jean girl i like denim shorts denim jackets oversized denim i just love denim and when i seen these i thought wow do you know why i love these put them on with a pair of jeans right and a white vest top or a white t-shirt or a, or a hoodie or a sweatshirt and you just instantly look cool because it's the double denim vibes i also think them with a little white t-shirt dress and like a blue check shirt or a denim jacket would be so so cool um so yes i absolutely love these they've got like um patch like stitching it's really really nice as well um and again i got them an exact same size now i thought how cute would it be just pairing them with that dress i was talking about um the white one and this denim jacket now it's like 
different colour of denim. I'm sorry if you just heard my belly that sound like I farted, but I sweat I swear that's my belly. Um it goes up and down kinda if you can see here. Um now I got this in a size 14 because I do I don't like denim jackets tight, it's never been my style. So I got it so it was a little bit more baggy and then obviously pairing that with the denim shoes. I just think it looks cool. It's like double denim, triple denim because you've got the different colour of denim here. Um I absolutely love it. So these will definitely be a key feature in my outfits this year. Even my like denim shorts and a wee plain top. Oh my god, there's so many ways you can wear these shoes. So I absolutely love them. If you are looking for oversized, I would definitely go a size up because even though this is a 14, it's not overly big. I think it'll be more baggy than long. But that's obviously because the style of the jacket is a little bit more cropped because of the like long part here and the short part at the bottom. So yeah, if you're looking for oversized, I would definitely go a size up in this. So guys, last outfit, um, I think it's the last one, yes it's definitely the last one, is, now I have seen so many girls wear these tops where they're basically like, hold on. So you basically wear it like this and cross it over um, and it like cups your boob again, like a really old fashioned kind of busty air but it's like coming back in. I have seen so many girls wear them, like Chinsia, Lady and all that, they've all been wearing them. And I thought, I'm not very armsy, like as you guys know, I don't like my arms, I don't ever like getting them out. But I thought, do you know what, I'm going to try it, because you could put this on with like a blazer, a crop blazer. Yeah, I'd probably say that's what you could do. So I've actually paired it in this little photo and video here, guys. Now you could put this on with like a little mini skirt and white heels, nude heels, and really, really dress this up. You could put this on in summer with jeans and sandals, denim shorts and sandals, socks and trainers. Like there's really, really loads of ways you can pair this. Even this with like black leather trousers where you're doing double leather and a nude heel would be absolutely stunning. Um, so there's so many ways you can wear this top. You could pop this on my check shirt if you wanted and denim shorts and sandals or trainers and really casual it down but you're still giving yourself that cleavage. Um, if you're big or busted, I'd imagine this would still work because I have seen girls who have really big boobs, really lovely big boobs, um, still wear these tops. But also girls, if you are a little bit more flat chested or you don't have as big as boobs, this top will give you that. Like this top is basically a free boob job. So save yourself about five grand and buy the top because it will give you the boobies that you're looking for. So I absolutely love it. It's a really good leather. And guys, don't you have noticed I haven't actually whiffed any fish yet because it doesn't stink. To get something leather from a brand and it come and you open, you literally tear the bag and you get the whiff of tuna. It gives me the dry bulk. This does not smell. But I am smelling it. It does not smell. So that is also a very key item. Like I hate when you have to actually sit something outside and air it to get rid of the smell. And then there's nothing worse than being more paranoid that the smell, the stench that comes with the leather is going to happen when you're out and people are like, what is that smell? And you're like, it's actually me. So, so it's me. It's where I didn't eat tuna for lunch. So yeah, I love it. Now, it is a little bit more cropped than I would usually wear. But as I told you guys, I am trying to shift the weight a wee bit. So maybe closer to spring and stuff like that, I will feel a little bit more comfortable. Um, but yeah, this is definitely a winner for me. I think this comes in black. I could be wrong with that, guys. I think it comes in black. I got this in a size 12. I also even think, guys, see this top with white flare trousers and little sandals if you can out for somewhere, like a beer garden or like a white flare and a heel. I think that would honestly be stunning. Like there's so many ways you can wear this or even like white denim shorts that are kind of like a little bit oversized, a little bit frayed. There's honestly so many ways you can wear that top. I absolutely love it, but... It's going to take some some guts to wear it for me just because I'm a little bit sensitive Sally about getting my arms out so but we have completed the haul I love Miss Pap I hope you love Miss Pap I have worked with them from years like I've said and yeah all of this is going to write in my new wardrobe I am actually having a clear out because I'm trying to get rid of the winter stuff the stuff I never seem to wear so that I actually have room for all this stuff um, but I absolutely love these denim sandals, man. I feel like cradling my baby because they're absolutely stunning. Um, 
but yeah there's so many nice things i will pop the link to miss pat down below just a general miss pat website um i will pop the links to all my outfits fingers crossed they're in stock and i'll link my sizes below um like i said guys any questions about like how things fit and all that like my recommendations of what size you should go for just message me on instagram and we can keep it private and um, if you're sharing it to instagram please tag me so i can share it too um but yeah hopefully you guys have liked this um i really appreciate guys that brands even want to work with me um especially during lockdown i know everyone's struggling and things like that but i honestly don't take any of this for granted and i really do appreciate like you's coming on and even like watching a video for five minutes 10 minutes or if it's one of my long ones god about 40 50 minutes an hour like it, it doesn't go unnoticed i do appreciate it um so yes we're one step closer guys to getting out of this shitty lockdown and getting back socializing with friends and family but we need to remember to try and stay safe so we actually get to that point because i think people are getting a little bit over excited i mean i am over excited because i've ordered 12 outfits i don't have 12 night outs planned so may have to do an outfit change on all my night outs but as it is but yes thank you for watching i hope you're having a great day um and yeah if you haven't subscribed please subscribe i can't believe how many of those are you guys already but as always guys thank you so so much for watching i appreciate you guys so much and yeah love you lots